Can you see me from there? I think so. Well, it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm preparing for my first class of this day. And I want to show you a day in my life in Querétaro. Stay tuned because later in this video, I will tell you about my next plans in the future. Hopefully you enjoy. What I usually do after teaching one or two classes in the morning is go to the gym. The gym where I go to is very close to my house and I got a very good promotion where I'm just paying 200 pesos per month. More or less 10 dollars, 10 US dollars. It's a bargain. Before going to the gym, I would like to have a jugo verde, a green juice, green smoothie. This green juice has pineapple, nopal, Toronja. In some places they add celery. We drink this juice because it's very, very healthy. Perfect to start the day. I got my green juice, my jugo verde, and I paid 30 pesos for this, which is $1.50. While I'm heading to the gym, I wanted to tell you guys that it's been very hot here in Querétaro. I think the hot days have started to arrive in Querétaro. The temperature has been of more than 30 Celsius degrees. In Fahrenheit, it's 62 more or less. So it's been really hot. But I'm super happy because yesterday we had the first rain of the year. I finally did my routine at the gym. And the bad thing of this is that I have a nice bakery next to my house. I love pan dulce eh, pastries and I haven't had one in a while. So I think that today I deserve it. cleaning a little bit and later I'm gonna show you what I do uh, regarding my Hello, job. Amor. Hola, amor. Hola, ah. amor. Ah, how are you filming? That's a good opportunity to show what you bought and what you brought. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just come back to the market. I didn't go to the market, so no market in this video. Sorry, no. guys. I've been. Prices are going up in Mexico, same as everywhere else. So it seemed quite expensive. Uh, so let's see what we've got. Karen did a video uh, when we first got back here about if we can eat for a day for one dollar each and i really like that video but it didn't not, have any views it didn't have any views let me know if you want to you want me to make a video about what can i eat for a dollar a dollar maybe more now with inflation two dollars or like a week eating for a week with a with a set budget what have you got there okay i've got some tortillas i like i go further away for these tortillas because they're very white Quarter of a kilo of cheese, Onions, some onions, garlic, nopales. Nopale. We've got some honey. You look, I think we've even got some bee in the honey, so <laughs> that's, uh, that's how you know it's fresh. Walnuts, Mushrooms. 100 grams of walnuts. You basically bought vegetables. Just vegetables, oh, just no meat. No meat. And, and eggs. Mm -hmm. And how much did you pay for this? 431 pesos. He basically paid $21, which for me, I don't know you, but I think this is getting a little bit expensive. Prices of vegetables, eggs, chicken, meat have been rising a lot this year. The other day we went to the market and the guy who sells the chicken told us that the chicken breast, one kilo of chicken breast costs 180 pesos. Compared to last year, it costs 120 pesos. And now I'm going to interview uh, a woman because I'm looking for more teachers, more, just one teacher to teach my courses. Fortunately, it's going well. And I want to hire someone to work in my Spanish course. Y a lo mejor sí, el primer mes sí va a ser el que hecho de que
We usually cook during the week because it's just easier for us to cook. But today we didn't have a lot of time and we are really, really hungry. So we decided to come to a fonda or a place where people sell comida corrida. It's basically a very nice lunch, Mexican lunch usually, that includes an appetizer, a main dish, a dessert, agua del día, which is juice of the day, water of the day. It's all natural with fruits and everything. We like to do this because it's very cheap as well. Office workers usually go to these places because they don't have time to cook during the week. This is because it's cheap, it's very affordable, and it can be very healthy as well. It depends on what you order. Look at the starter. It looks very fancy, I told you. This is crema de verduras, which is cream of vegetable soup. My dish is very healthy. It's roasted chicken breast with a little bit of salad and rice. The salad is with nopala tomato. And there are a lot of different options. For example, they've got enchiladas verdes. That lunch was very, very tasty and healthy. And I only paid 55 pesos, $2.50. In about an hour, I'm gonna give a class, Spanish class. This is a class that is part of my course that I'm offering. If you are interested in learning Spanish with me, I've created some conversation courses where you can put in practice what you know, but if you don't know, I also have a course for you to start from zero, from scratch, but you start talking from class one. If you're interested, I'm going to leave the link below. You just need to answer a quick test and then you have to look at your place. Oh, yeah. After that lunch, I just want to sleep, to be honest. But I have to work. I'm working on my Spanish courses as you saw before, I was interviewing a, a, a woman to help me to teach Spanish and I'm planning to open more courses so you can join, guys. I know that some of you already took the course and would like to continue. Well, I'm working on that. Um, for that, I will need somebody to help me to teach. I would also love to tell you that I'm going to Colombia in June for two months, just for the summer. I'm super excited because I will be visiting some cities and I'm going there because in Colombia was the place that I met my husband. We had good memories in Colombia when we were younger and we want to visit that beautiful country again. <laughs> Oh, today is such a beautiful day. It's not very hot. Well, it's seven o'clock, so it's not as hot as it was in the afternoon. And I'm in Plaza Jardín Senea. This plaza is very, very popular because on weekends and on Fridays at night, people are dancing here on this square. They dance salsa and cumbia. Right now I'm waiting for Dave. Dave is withdrawing money at the ATM. Just a quick tip if you are learning Spanish. Withdrawing money at the ATM, we say retirar dinero en el cajero. Just a quick interruption to thank all my patrons who are supporting this channel. Thanks to you guys, I'm able to travel and to be able to make more videos to you guys. For this reason, I want to share with my patrons my behind the scenes video, video ideas, future plans of the channel, and even my, my business expenses. So my patrons can see what the money is spent on and how much they are supporting the channel. I'm about to show you a delicacy. It's something that I've been eating the last days because I really enjoy it, I really like it. And it's from Querétaro. So let me show you. This typical snack is called gazpacho. Oh, super tasty. Oh, 
Look at this beautiful gazpacho. But why is it so amazing? It's just a perfect combination of fruit. It has mango, pineapple, cucumber, jicama, which I guess is the same in English. They put all the fruit in, a, in this cup and they add orange juice, vinegar, chili, cheese, uh, more chili, a lime. And as a result, we have a beautiful combination of a tasty snack. Mm -hmm. Oh my god.